let's move into director graph where after the director graph we will stop and the next video is going to be how to construct a graph yeah okay come let's go to the next part okay the next part here right okay this one is like you can do it yourself okay you want to check with me go ahead go instagram find me langji where are you can you check the answer for me no problem okay can so now we go we i will go to the next one okay by the way this is the the graph drawing thing huh so i will skip this skip 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 go into this thing called the director graph the directional graph okay everyone in your textbook there is a very very powerful page where you can refer to it it looks like this, but I don't know which page is it really. Okay, you can look at it. So it seem, uh, it looks like this. There's a simple graph there. They put like all the details there. They put like uh, the graph with loops and multiple edges. Everything is there. Okay, so just now we are done with what? We are done with all these. Okay, undirected graph. Undirected graph. Okay, where two parts done really your simple and loop multiple edges related. So now let's go into our directed okay so now let's go into directed this part over here i will teach you the detail of the names and the formats let's go into it step four directed and undirected graph directed done ready right uh, so under i'm uh, sorry undirected done ready so we are into our directed which is directional okay over here okay i'm gonna tell you something can you see your p q r you know what's that really that's the vertex right and you know your p to q this specific line over here is the h okay it's the h so i'm not referring to the h there because you know you know that i'm referring to the e number one on top of this h so this is a weight where you place a certain thing on top ah uh, so imagine this case everyone okay in normal class i i, I mentioned like in detail like uh, in network what kind of scenario you have and stuff right okay now so over here you will notice that p to q p to q it might be some 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 specific spots okay let's say lah okay let's talk about uh, the area that lives okay i lives in uaj so let's say p is usj2 and q is uaj5 so between them it's a 5 km difference uh, so e number one you replace with 5 km that will be the weight uh, so weight is not like specific a mass or what it can be uh, uh, some informations where it's uh it's relevant okay so it depends on the situation and the question and uh, and what they ask okay now so this is a what oh no, no no not we are not going to that we are going to the e number two there okay this is very very specific that's a very specific loop and now we're gonna highlight this part okay i'm gonna circle this part okay everybody was this this is a multiple ages okay this is a multiple ages so i'll put that Okay, this is a very specific multiple ages. Okay, multiple ages. Okay, so this one done already. And now we're going to like some specific info there already. Okay, by the way, as you can see, I will list out like the, vert uh, the vertex and the edge in a while. But let's go into this thing. This is one weighted graph. Uh, as you can see, I put like E1, E2, E3 and so on, right? And D means directional or maybe directed graph uh, or maybe directional okay directional directional meaning there is lines there is a specific arrow pointing towards it right so when there is a specific arrow you have to be extra extra careful with the directions okay so presentation wise it will be much different okay much different so you have to be careful so same thing just now for the uh for the dark undirected graph portion right i put like three examples for you to like go through right so over here i will do like two examples only okay because suppose on top you you roughly know like how how it goes really okay now so let's go into this vertex over here okay open bracket you have p q r nothing much and of course by the side of it i will just tell you number of v is obviously three and of course for your ages there will, there will be two ways to present it i will present the other type of way but before i present the other type of way i will tell you the direction that you're going to follow if you're following the previous way in your undirected graph okay so Back to this directed. Directed means got direction. Uh, okay, in case I, I mentioned it wrongly, you have to pandai pandai uh, change a bit. Okay, now, so again, directed. It means got arrow. So back to this, let's say P to Q. You notice the direction is like P shooting towards Q, right? So you can suppose uh, you should present P, Q instead of Q, P. Because the direction is supposed to go that way, right? And obviously, when, when you talk about Q, okay, it will be Q and Q, uh, nothing much. Okay, so I will erase this. I'm not going into like that specific thing because it will be kind of long. So I will replace with another way called E1 by presenting the weight. So E1, E2, E3, E4, and E5. Done. 
So total for uh for the for the number of ages you have a total of five and sum of degree is obvious lah. Huh? You have your uh two times five equals to ten. Just a quick one, everyone. Okay, can you tell me what's the total? Okay, what's the total? The sum of degree. What's the fastest way to get it? You take your number of ages, you times two, then you will get your sum of degrees. Okay, now so every everybody, everything's like nicely written there, format wise, roughly the same as your undirected graph, which is non-directional. Okay, so now when you come into sum of degree, there is one specific thing that you have to be extra careful. One very specific thing. Okay, I'm gonna show you over here. I'm gonna show you over here. Now, I'll use a different color to emphasize it. Okay, let's go into our P first. Okay, let's go into our P first. I'll just specific uh, on the P side. So, degree for P, degree for P, wait. In your undirected graph, your non-directional, you look at P and you see how many lines shooting towards it, right? Right? Suppose, if let's say you ignore the arrows, you notice there's three. You notice there is one, two, and three. Suppose in non-directional, undirected graph, there is three without referring to the arrows. Okay, but now there is some specific arrow going on, so you have to be extra careful. So instead of writing dp equals, we will write d means degree in for p and degree out for p. Ah, see that or not? Remember, Download the, the notes below and write it with me. So as you write, as you pause and redo it, that's the most powerful thing that happens in your memory. It stays inside. That's why I emphasize to my class, uh, my students in the class, I say that you have to go through like a few times with me. You're going to do the work and stuff so that it goes into your brain. Okay, now, I mean as in the formats, everything. Lah. So first thing is about formats. Next is about your drawing drafting. And third, it will be your... K buts, okay? K buts mean your host questions. Okay, back to this. Now, so degree for in, very obvious for P. So how many lines shooting towards P? One. You see that? One shooting towards P. Look at the arrow, right? So one. How many lines go out of P? Now there is a different thing. Go out of P. There is two. So you notice, if you get a one, you get your one and two, you add up together, it's a total of three, right? Nice. Ah, you saw that? So that's the meaning. Lah. So of course, we need to make sure we have a total of 10. And now let's go into the next one called the Q. Okay, so degree in for Q. Okay, degree out for Q. Degree in for R and degree out for R. Okay, but why not I skip R, R, Q first? Let's go into R because Q doesn't look there. I need to explain a bit. Okay, now. This weapon, this weapon for R, how many, how many lines shooting towards R? Obvious, right? One shooting towards R, one shooting towards R. There's a total of two going into R. How many lines going out of R? One, which is the E5 there. And now let's go into Q. So when you go into Q, right? Okay, let's don't talk about the loop. Let's talk about the simple H first. Lah. Okay, simple H first. Ah. How many lines shooting towards Q? For now, based on the simple thing, you get one line shooting towards Q. And another line going out of Q. Like this, right? But be extra careful. Remember, remember, in your, in your undirected graph, your non-directional, I did mention that the number of degrees for your loop, it will be 2. The number of degrees for loop, it will be 2. Remember this thing? The power, the power pen cable? Right? So you see, these two things, plug into it. Okay, in your directed, you have to think this way. In your directed, you have to think this way, everyone. You see, uh, starting from Q, right? Okay, these two, two lines done really. Uh, it's just that we're going to understand, like, in your directed, how you're going to understand your loop's degree. Okay? So you see, this point here, right? Okay, let's say I go this way. I go out. You see, I go out. 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 And I come in again. I come in again, right? So I go out and I come in. So you go out is one. You come in is one. So that's why plus one in and plus one out. I repeat, huh? you go out. You see, you go out and then you come back in again. So can you see one degree, one degree? That's the reason. That's why degree Y, there is two. That's the specific, supposed the correct way to understand the degrees. The one the one just now in your, sim uh, in your what? Not simple graph. The non-directional, the undirected thing. Okay, that's another way to understand it.
Okay, but suppose this is the correct way. So you go out, you go out, you go out, then you come back in again. That's why one degree out and one degree in. That's why you have a total of two. Okay, so let's total up and see whether you get the total now. Right? So one plus one, you get two here. Okay, so one plus one, you get two here. So we, we're going to add it. So one, two, two, you get five here. Two, two, one, you get five here. So sigma D vertices, vertices, you get them. Okay, can. So now, another very important name. Okay, what is it? Look at the PQ thing. Ah, you go through this thing, I tell you steady already. You know every single names, every single names, every single format. Everything over here in this uh, quite long video, uh, you know everything as in the names, the formats, everything already. Uh, okay, but of course, what is a network? I didn't really tell you yet, right? This is just the names part. Okay, the name, the name, the name, okay? So everyone, your PQ, oh, you see your PQ over here, there's a very specific direction where P is the starting and Q is the ending, right? So what is starting? What is starting? Ah, uh, in your in your physics, in your maths, in your science, maybe you learned this formula called acceleration before, right? Okay, what, what is your acceleration formula? Okay, we always use a formula that starts with I. I, initial. Uh, so P, it's your initial vertex. Q is the ending part, right? Like, phew, aloprene land down, right? So that's the terminal vertex. I see, oh, yo, new name there, right? So same applies to your Q. Q is the loop there, right? So you go out, go in, basically same point Q and Q, right? So go out, initial vertex is Q. You come back in the same point, Q. Uh, sorry, that's not initial. Suppose that will be the terminal vertex. Okay. Everybody, so this specific video already say kind of boring one. Everything's out about names, 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 formats, formats. You notice the whole through the, the, the whole class I've been saying like names all the way, formats all the way. No like extra extra thing. Okay, I didn't mention what is this network thing for and this la that la. That's all. Okay. So everyone, gonna see you in the next video. The next video we're gonna talk about what? We're gonna talk about how to construct a steady graph using a very proof using a very powerful method. Ah, okay, ciao.